Hello guys, this is me Bikram Adhikari. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I'll show you to determine confidence interval for proportion in R. Here, I'll be determining confidence interval of binary categorical variable. That is, the categorical variable containing two categories. And for polytomous categorical variable. That is, the categorical variable containing more than two categories. For this, what you require is, you need to install DSC tools. In R. Now let's begin. First of all, let's import data into R Studio. The data is present in download folder with the name data.csv. Let's import it. It is in download folder data.csv. Open. I have imported data set. Now let's check the summary of data. Here, there are 6 variables and 402 observations. Now, all variables are integer variables, but the last 4 variables, from gender to depression, they are factor or categorical variable. Let's convert these integer variables into categorical variable. For that, I am using the code over here. Now, again, let's see the summary of the data now there are two integer variable three categorical variable with two level and one categorical variable with three levels now let's calculate confidence interval for chronic low back pain for this let's find out the table Chronic low back pain is present in 171 subjects and absent in 231. The total number of observations is 402. Now, there are two ways to determine the confidence interval. One is using the Proctor test function and another is using DSC tool package. Now let's try first one using Proctor test function. Yux, the number of success, that is the number of people having chronic low back pain, it is 171. Yun, that is number of observation, that is 402. You don't need to enter value of p. Uh, the alternative hypothesis it is two dot sided, two sided. And next is you need to enter the confidence level. Confidence level here is zero point nine five. I'm entering confidence level of ninety five. You can change the value depending on need. Okay. Here you don't need uh, the values over here, but what you need is confidence interval. This is the 95% confidence interval and here is the point estimate, okay. Here this confidence interval is calculated using Wilson method. If you want to calculate confidence interval using Clopper Pearson method or Waltz method or Jeffries method, then you need to use another way that is DSC tool package. Now for that you need to install DSC tool for installing use this code over here and once you install then load the library i have loaded a dsc tool library now let's calculate confidence interval using clopper pearson method okay for that use binom ci and here yux number of success that is 171 uh, yun is 402 and confidence level it is 0.95 i am determining 95 percent confidence interval and now another is sides uh, two sided now method i would like to choose clopper pearson method okay Uh, 
now here this is the point estimate and this is uh, lower confidence interval and uh, here another is upper confidence interval if you want to choose another uh, like Walsh method or Wilson method then just change the name over here words sorry world here using the world method it is uh, point estimate is over here upper and lower confidence interval is over here and if you want to calculate using wilson method wilson method then write to the method here this is the estimate in this way you can calculate confidence interval for binary categorical variable now let's try uh, to find out the confidence interval for polytomous categorical variable. Here, the polytomous categorical variable is hypertension. Let's clear this. Let's find the table for hypertension. There are three categories one is normal, pre hypertensive, and hypertensive. Let's calculate confidence interval for all categories. Multinome CI function must be used, and here C uh, the observations are 238. One on two, the value obtained from the table it must be entered over here, and then uh, write the confidence level. I like to find 95% confidence interval, so 95, and other sided, I like to find two sided confidence interval and there is method I like to use good man method okay here is the confidence interval for all three groups first for normal second for pre hypertensive and third for hypertensive you can select methods and calculate the confidence interval for proportion in this way, you can calculate confidence interval for binary and polytomous categorical variables. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you have any problem, let me know. Uh, if I can, I will help you.